Now your KRBC Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Cash Payne. Well, it was a very hot day to end the work week. Also, a little bit active. You can see all the lightning on the monitor behind me. That's where we will begin with our KRBC Skycam looking out towards the northeast. And there is quite a bit of lightning. That's not a severe weather criteria, but, you know, it can. It's, it's a little frightening at times, especially when uh, it's done in such large amounts. Mother Nature just kind of putting on a show for all of us heading into the holiday weekend. And let's talk about some of these storms. Some of them were a little bit more on the severe side than others. Uh, baseball, softball size hail. We don't like to see that. Unfortunately, it, it is uh, something that can happen from time to time. A storm system kind of worked its way all the way up from about Mineral Wells and is still working its way down the Lone Star State. Now a tornado warning, but it is since out of our hair. We're not dealing with anything on that magnitude, thank goodness, but we are dealing with a severe thunderstorm warning that affects a good portion of the big country, including us here in the Key City. Now it looks like it just skirted us and is moving past us and off towards the southeast. So we dodged a bullet for all of us that live in Abilene, but those of us that live off towards east, you might be dealing with some occasional uh, quarter size hail and some 60 mile an hour winds, which certainly can do some damage. It's not going to break out probably the windows in your car like baseball and softball size hail, but still, nobody wants to deal with hail in their cars. Uh, anyways, you can ask Samantha Jones about that. Severe thunderstorm warning running until 10:30 tonight. Like I said, there is that storm that worked its way across the big country, which was uh, a much more dangerous storm this afternoon. Kept me fairly busy all this evening. Temperatures across the big country. What also is going to keep us busy is the heat. You will want to stay hydrated. You need to stay hydrated, and uh, probably wear the sunscreen as well. I say it all the time because big country homepage sports, they never listen to me and they get burned. I do not get burned because I do wear sunscreen and you should too. And you should stay hydrated because it is going to be hot and we will not get much relief from the heat as far as winds or really mm, clouds or anything of that nature. So we are cooling down. We're in the 70s and 80s. A lot of rain cooled air across the big country. Winds are coming in fairly variable. There was an outflow boundary that kind of is pushing, making some gusty winds at a time or two, but most of us are on the lighter side, I would say. Uh, severe outlook. These storms are going to continue to track their way toward the southeast and east of Abilene, so there is a slight risk, like I said, for those damaging winds, 60 mile an hour winds, so batten down the hatches, bring in the pets. They don't want to be dealing with the hail either. It's, it's not a fun thing to be dealing with, but they will die out heading into tonight, so most of the storms will kind of fizzle out going through once we lose more daytime heating and now that the sun has been gone for about a few hours or so that usually helps uh, kind of fizzle out storms so they should be gone heading into the overnight hours a clear morning expected for your Saturday it looks like it'll remain that way blue skies and lots of sunshine and that means the Texas heat will shine upon all of us and if you're going to be out at the lake if you're going to be enjoying the holidays uh, like I said, I emphasize this the most. Uh, you got to stay hydrated. I, I want to keep that very, very clear heading into this weekend. Above average temperatures and really for the next several days, it's going to be hot. Triple digits are expected for quite a while. The dog days of summer look to have made an early approach. 71 tonight, 20% chance of storms before midnight, mostly clear, like I said. But tomorrow, 100 degrees. And guess what? Seven days from now, we forecast about the same thing, maybe even a little bit hotter. Uh, 103, I mean 100, 102, 103, either way, any way you look at it, it's, it's just ridiculously hot.